All right, team, so here we go. We're gonna put it all together. I've done some upper body workouts that are body weight. I've done some lower body workouts that are body weight. So let's see what happens when we put it all together for a full body body weight workout. So um, for this week, we've kind of committed to the doing it for time segment. So putting that timer on, choosing 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and then going through the selection of exercises several times in that time period. So today, for this full body workout, we again have four elements, right? Doesn't need to be sophisticated. It's simple, exercise, movement. We're gonna do push-ups, we're gonna do split squats, uh, we're gonna do some dead bugs, and then we'll also do jumping jacks, okay? So um, what that kind of resonates to is doing an upper body exercise, a lower body exercise, a core exercise, and then a cardio piece, right? So you're getting it all in this small group. Um, so again, push-ups, choose your level of difficulty. Um, I'm out on my deck again, so if you see a bench or you have a riser or a step where you can modify the push-up to make it a little bit easier, you certainly can do that. Um, for today, I'll do them for my knees or half kneeling for those of us who want those progressions, um, and then certainly can do it from a full, you know, both feet up. So um, being on your knees, right, <laughs> making sure that angle looks good shoulders and hips nice straight line you know we keep um, the core engaged we just come down to the floor right exhale push up and away right feeling those shoulder blades come together as you come down and then you come back up right so half kneeling means that you're modifying right so you have one leg down and then you have one leg out so this makes it a little bit harder good right still maintain that really good straight line okay make sure you're utilizing those muscles, all right? So that's push-ups, split squats. So this is where we have one foot forward and, whoops, and one foot back, all right? So make sure when you start that you do, kind of think your hands are on your hips, right? You're gonna perform a nice um, posterior tilt, right? You're gonna dump the water out the back, all right? Make sure that knee is behind the toe and you're gonna come down, right? And then just come up. You certainly could use something here if you need to balance. Um, you could position yourself right by a bookcase, right? Use what you have, but you're gonna do eight on one side. That was just four, but you're gonna do eight on one side. And then you're gonna switch feet, and then you're gonna do eight on the other side. So again, get yourself in really good positioning. Nice posterior pelvic tilt, right? Make sure the knees are behind the toe, right? A modification for this is just to not go down as low, right? So we don't have to go as far Right, we can do a little bit of an abbreviated split squat, okay? Try to balance the weight, keeping the weight both on the front and the back foot. Core exercise, those dead bugs. So when you do a dead bug, you wanna remind yourself to really imprint your spine into the floor, right? So laying on your back, the arms are gonna come up, right? And we're gonna keep one hand and one leg static at all times. So right, so from here what's gonna happen is I'm gonna lengthen, I gotta think about it now, I'm gonna um, lengthen my right arm and my left leg. And I lengthen them so that they're about two inches off the ground. And I hold, and then I come back up. Lower and lift, exhale as you go down, inhale as you go up, all right? And then the objective is really to keep them as, as static, you know, meaning no movement, right, as you lower and come down and then come back up. So you're gonna do, again, eight to 10 there. So if I was working with you as a one-on-one -on -one client, I'd be coming around and making sure that my fingers couldn't get underneath your low back, okay? So those are dead bugs. And then you're gonna finish with just a nice old-fashioned jumping jack, right? So a modified jumping jacks here, right? You don't have to do any jumping. Otherwise, you can kind of go here, right? Sometimes people like to do more of a squat jack, right? So make it your own, have fun, add some things to it, take some things away, just stay moving. Um, that's the ultimate goal here and have fun.